Hi everyone, Miss Terry here. It is time to work on our letter T, forming our letter T. So last time we practiced saying the T sound, t -t -t. remember it's a short sound and a tip tapper, t -t -t. And we also practiced some words that start with T and we practiced our Tiggy Tiger song. We'll do that at the end today after we do our letter formation, okay? All right, so here is our letter T. Here is our big T and our little T over here. We're gonna be forming the big T with our letters. So here it is, here's our big T. So you're gonna to need to get out your wooden letters to do this. If you happen to be using the cutout um, tag board cardboard pieces, let me know. Someone donated, um, one of our families donated some wooden pieces um, for our newer um, folks that have joined the program and don't have those. So let me know if you would like a set of those. I'd be happy to get those to you. Anyway, let's get out our wood pieces. So um, I think what we're going to do is slide this over. And we are going to set this just like this so we can see a little bit better. Can you see that? There's our T. So we're going to take a look. Here's, the, um, here's our long line and our short line that make the T, just like this, a long line and a short line. So we're going to want to pull out those from our wood pieces. So let's see what we have in our wood piece bag. Do we need a big curve? Nope, not for T. Do we need a little curve? Nope, not for letter T. Do we need a long line? Let me show you. Do we need a long line? Yes, we do. I'm going to stick that right on. You'll want to do this down on your table in front of you. And do we need a short line? We sure do. Let's get our short line on there. Oops, Miss Terry's going to need to get some sticky on there. Well, actually, on this one, we're probably going to need the sticky right there. All right, and we're going to put our short line. So when we make a T, first we do our long line down. Where do we start our letters? At the top. On the T, we start um, at the top. We do our long line, and then we go back to the top to do our short line. There we go. And there's our letter T. T is for turtle. I don't know if you can see that turtle up in the corner. T is for turtle. All right, now... Um, when you're done with this video, you're going to want to roll your Play-Doh snakes to make your T. You can make it right on there. Remember, if you go back in Miss Terry's blog, if you're new to the program and you go back to the beginning of the blog to August and September and October, A, B, C, D, E, those early letters, you will see some great videos on how to learn how to roll those your, yourself without using, without the grown-up. So have your grown-up help you look at those and learn how to do Play-Doh snakes, and then you can build your teeth. All right, now we are going to do some cutting with letter T. We're going to do our cutting down the center, and we're going to put a shape around each T, the big T and the little T, uppercase and lowercase T, and we're going to cut that out. We're going to get some scissor practice. All right, so I'm going to move this. And get those back in the bag. All right. Um, and I think I'm going to do my drawing first. 
I'm going to turn this sideways. I'm going to put my little T over here and my big T over here. And I am going to get out my green pen today. And I'm going to draw a, hmm, an oval, an oval around each letter. And then we're going to cut that out. So I picked oval today. Oval like an Easter egg. <laughs> Those aren't perfect ovals, but they're pretty good. All right. Um, next, we're going to pull out our scissors. And the first thing I'm going to do to get warmed up, to get some warm up practice on cutting, remember we always do thumb up. So we put thumb in the small hole at the top, the rest of the fingers in the oval bigger hole at the bottom, and we always cut with thumbs up. You'll want to cut down on the table, but I do hold it up so that you can see better. Um, I think Miss Terry might actually try this today. So um, it, you'll, it'll look, be a little closer to what you're doing. So Miss Terry's going to set it there. And I'm going to hold with my um, helper hand. And I'm going to cut with my worker hand, just like this. Thumb up. See how my thumb's up? All right. Now I'm going to cut out my big T first. We're going to put our little T here. And we'll do that second. We'll do that next. First, I'm going to do this T. So remember, I'm going to hold the paper with my helper hand. And I'm going to keep thumb up, thumb up, and I'm going to cut around that oval. And I'm just going to be turning the paper like this as I cut. See how I turn the paper? You'll be doing this in kindergarten. It's important that you practice this a little bit. You may only be three or four or five, almost five, but when you get to be full on five in kindergarten, you're going to need to, to do this skill. So it's good to practice when we're, when we're three and four. All right, so there I cut the oval around my T. Here's my scrap extra paper. Now I am going to do the same thing with my little t. Remember, I'm going to be using my helper hand to turn the paper while I cut. I'm going to be keeping my thumb up. And I'm normally going to be working on the table like you're doing right now. I'm going to go around, 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 around. When you get to kindergarten, you'll be cutting out lots of little pieces with some of your work. So it's important to know how to cut around and to cut on lines. That's why we practice this. And that's why I keep reminding you about thumbs up so you have good use of the scissors when you start kindergarten and that you're holding it the right way. Okay? All right, that will make you faster and it'll keep you from maybe having some sore, some sore muscles. You never know. Alrighty. Thanks for joining me, you guys. We'll see you later. Bye now.